Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Now, the increased powers of our committee, thanks to the implementation of the Lisbon Treaty, go hand in hand with a huge responsibility and many duties. I think it's extremely important that we're talking about a sector such as aquaculture. I believe that we haven't, that the European Union hasn't paid enough attention to aquaculture. Aquaculture is trying to find some space to live, if I may put it this way, uh, um, feeling the pressure from tourism, fisheries, uh, and many other sectors, but despite the fact that it's wedged between all of these sectors, it's doing pretty well. But there has been some stagnation in the development of aquaculture in the past few years. The EU is not self-sufficient since two-thirds of aquaculture products consumed in Europe come from third countries. And uh, often these aquaculture products are of dubious quality and, um, as you know, the conditions don't really respect environmental standards and health and hygiene standards that exist in EU legislation. That is why it's a great opportunity for the Fisheries Committee to support aquaculture, and we must grab this opportunity. It's extremely important. We're given an opportunity to bolster the sector so that it can be a model for sustainable social and economic growth. I know it's a tricky task, but we really must have a stab at it. It's patently clear that aquaculture falls uh, w uh, within uh, various policies or under various policies of the European Union, such as consumer protection, research and development, among others. I think that there's going to be a lot of pressure on this sector in the future. Climate change uh, will put pressure on it, but I still think that aquaculture can help us provide a solution to the problems that exist, say, in the fisheries sector. So I welcome our colleague's working document. He didn't have a lot of time, but he still managed to outline the problems and challenges faced by the aquaculture sector. And he's also put forward guidelines for action. We're in favor of adopting a regulation in the future. I don't believe that this goes against the decentralized approach put forward by the new reformed common fisheries policy. We believe that uh, the aquaculture sector will be able to improve. We're a little bit skeptical when it comes to an aquaculture fund, but I'm sure that after a uh, debate we'll be able to pinpoint what kind of model Mr. Milian is putting forward. Now, I would also like to say that Mr. Milana uh, showed a lot of sensitivity when it ca came to the issue of killing fish. I'm sure that uh, in the future, I don't know in how many years, human beings, our future human beings will exist, will be told that uh, <laughs> they're eating live animals and their hair will stand on end the way it stands on end um, on our bodies when we talk about cannibalism. <coughs> so I think that any sensitivity towards this issue is uh, welcome.